Welcome to a tour of the Florida Probe software. The Florida Probe software has been designed for use with Windows 2000, XP, and Vista. Double click the icon to get started. Welcome to the Florida Probe. Florida Probe can actually link directly into your practice management software, so we link with over 50 different practice management software products worldwide. When the software first starts, it's automatically looking for which patient you want to enter today. You could either bring up a patient of record and add another visit to their name, or we could create a new visit for each patient by clicking the New Patient button. You can see here that John was entered earlier today because they'll be coming in later, and has no visits now, but it allows us to go ahead and mark their personal information as well as missing teeth to save time. The test patient that we'll be looking at next has four visits, and she's come in today. It pops up a medical alert warning. This particular patient has an allergic reaction to penicillin, needs to be pre-medicated due to a heart murmur, and is a smoker. You'll notice that we're starting on one of three different tabs. The personal page is where we are going to view, obviously, the name and chart number, notes. You have a quick overview of the missing teeth as well as a summary of the last visit. We could input their image through the uh, web camera that I have attached to this laptop. To continue on, we would be able to either enter a PSR, a quick screening, uh, or a shortcut exam, or we could do a comprehensive periodontal exam today. Let's go into the periodontal page. Our three choices on this dialog are, are to create a new visit from scratch. We could view their previous charts. Maybe we want to print them out or email them to the insurance company. Or let's even carry data forward from a past visit. So for a recare visit that we want to save time, we're only going to enter pocket depth and bleeding data, but it would allow us to bring data over such as frication, mobility, recession, and allow us to save time. For this demo, let's just look at their previous chart. You are in the moving mode. It allows us to start in the moving mode where we can move around the mouth and see the entire chart. So you can see that uh, we show both the facial and lingual surface of each tooth. The teeth numbers are listed here in the center of the chart. This particular patient has four different visits, so if you want to instantly flip between all four visits, we can do that. Let's take a closer look. Tooth 1 is actually missing. Tooth 2 is a crown. Tooth 7 is an implant. 9 through 12 is a bridge. And again, tooth 15 is a crown. On the lower jaw, we can see a crown on 18, an implant, and again, the wisdom teeth are missing. Well, notice on the left-hand side of the screen that uh, these are all of the things that we can use to enter data with. So we can mark missing teeth. Recession can either be positive or negative from the CEJ. We can chart pocket depth, bleeding, and pus, frication, plaque, tooth mobility, mucogingival junctions, and set a diagnosis. On the right-hand side, once you've collected all of the data, this allows you to view how you want to see the data. We could create a new visit for this patient compared to a specific visit, control the visit settings or what we're going to chart in the future, look at the summary, legend, plaque data, history per tooth, a shortcut uh, screen, view the entire visit uh, on one page, maybe look at the data for a half page or even um, expand it to the maximum size for the screen. Let's take a closer look at the summary information. So here's a patient that's been in four different times, and right away you'll notice that with this much data on the screen, it's nice to be able to summarize it into kind of a bite-size ability to understand what's happening. So this patient's come in, 28% of their uh, sites were, were bleeding on their initial visit. We gave them a treatment. They've come down to 5%, so they're responding really well to treatment. Uh, at their next visit, they continue to uh, take treatments and respond well. Uh, now some time has gone by since those treatments, and guess what? They've started to trend in the wrong direction. It's going to be time for another round of treatment. The sites that we consider uh, at a warning level, uh, as anything past 3.4 millimeters, you can adjust this to any level you feel is appropriate. And again, we're noticing that we're, we're having a, um, a trend from 3% to 16% of our sites of gained some swelling or pocket depth has gotten worse. 
we'll continue to notice here that the deep sites are also the ones that are bleeding in most cases. And for other summary information, you can see other data as well as pie charts per visit, as well as graphs for up to six visits. Again, you can email or print any of these charts. You can double click any tooth in the mouth or you can click the history button and that allows you to bring up a site by site comparison for each tooth in the mouth. If you want to flip to other teeth you can do so instantly. The beauty of this um, screen is to the ability to see a change in attachment level over time not just a change in pocket depth. And again we can email or print these charts out. At the top of the screen, we're going to see some other options. We have the options menu where you can come in and fine tune the software to be quite uh, specific for your practice. We have a variety of different languages to control the entire software package from English, Spanish, Portuguese, and German. On the personal page, you can customize how you want to input the uh, images. You can also set uh, default examiner as well as on the personal page, we can flip between the US or international tooth numbering system how we display the data, the warning and danger levels, if you want to automatically compare it to either the first visit or the most recent visit. Um, our warning levels are where we set both the warning and danger levels for both the on-screen and the sound files. The sound features allow us to flip between a multitude of different languages, both male and female. Here in Florida where the product was invented, um, we use Spanish quite a bit, both male and female. In the advanced options, you have the ability to flip between specific sounds. So if you want to call uh, suppuration, suppuration, pus, pus or exudate, exudate, you could simply change the radio button to be the specific voice file you wanted to use. You could turn off a particular sound, or you could test different Morning. indicators of disease. I'd like to continue on with the top... Um, row of buttons here in the Florida Probe software. The lookup screen of course allows you to look up any patient of record, print them out at any time. The records are all permanently stored. You can save and print. You can email a cluster of charts, uh, both a full chart, a patient education handout, and, and a detailed plaque history uh, for any patient as well. The plaque chart is ideal if you are doing things like a take-home kit or a mechanical toothbrush in your office. Patient education movies are included with the Florida Probe software at no additional cost. They're simplified into four one-minute movies. The first one is really about what's going to happen during the visit. A second visit option is also available, as well as what causes the disease, the stages of periodontal disease, and the links to oral systemic infection. An office that's really busy and doesn't have time for all four movies or four minutes can, can simply reduce down to one or two movies, hit the play button, do you have periodontal disease? This gives you time to leave the room and let the computer um, educate the patient about uh, what's going to happen and also what, uh, what this disease is and what it means. Risk assessment is included. This is an integral part of the software. It allows you in a 15 to 30 second questionnaire with the patient to identify areas of concern that include systemic diseases, smoking, medications, behavioral and temporary issues, as well as history. Age is automatically calculated from the date of birth on the personal page. The date is automatically calculated from the computer. And you could add in additional notes here, maybe CRP levels, BANA testing, other things that you're doing in the office. You'll notice that this area of the risk assessment is automatically calculated and updated based on the probing data that you enter at each visit. Things like the risk score are automatically calculated as low, medium, as high. This particular patient is a high-risk patient. If maybe they were not diabetic um, or a smoker, you could maybe change the level. Their level of disease, of course, is very high, and so it's something that is forcing their risk score to also be high. Again, this is just one more tool to educate the patient about this disease and the importance of taking treatments. We have a new feature that's also included called Live Support, and so Monday to Friday Eastern Standard Time, you can click on this button and actually get live uh, support directly through the software now. So it's an exciting new feature that uh, we're happy to show you. Thanks again for taking the time on this overview tour of the new Florida Probe software.